All right. Well, here we go. My my intention, Tracy said, come as you are. And so my intention is to really honor where everybody is right now. Uh, so even if you're seated, this is still for you, right? My intention real quick is we're going to go through about three specific uh, movement-based techniques or exercises. And from there, we're just going to pivot into some deeper, um, deeper reflective practices. And that should take us through our time. And so my intention is, and you might be familiar with it, you might not, either way, it's okay. We're gonna go through an active body scan. We're gonna go through perhaps a few rounds of a lion's breath, as well as a heart center stretch. And from there, we'll pivot into a deeper reflective practice, all right? So in my body, I'm just seated. My feet are flat on the floor. My back and neck are relatively straight. I'm not doing anything fancy with my hands or my arms right now. Uh, and even so, I'm gonna invite you as best your body allows to come into a similar posture. So as best your body allows, you're welcome to have your feet flat on the floor. Certainly you can do what we're about to do standing, but if you feel more comfortable being seated, this is for you, all right? So as the best the body allows, I'm gonna invite us now to simply begin to raise up the left hand and slowly as the body allows, just begin to curl the fingers of the left hand now. We're just gonna make it into a tight fist, curling the fingers of the left hand. Now we're not trying to hurt ourselves, but just allow yourself to notice the tension. That's just happening right now, a little bit more in that left hand and the left fingers. And then just relax and release the left hand, relax and release the left arm. And as you're allowing more relaxation to come into that left hand and the left arm, just begin to notice now how that left hand and left arm feels being just a little bit more relaxed now versus when it was tense and active. Now, you don't have to worry about giving it a name or a label or a value judgment, but just notice the feelings and the sensations. So let's begin to move the awareness now. We're going to begin to move the awareness to the right leg and the right foot. And so as best the body allows, the invitation right now is just going to begin to tap that right foot against the floor. Or if you're by a chair or a desk leg, as the body allows, you can gently tap the foot against that chair or that desk leg. Or perhaps you're just allowing that right leg to bounce or move just a little bit more now. Again, we're not trying to cause any discomfort in the body, but we're just allowing for a little bit more movement right now with that right foot and that right leg, either bouncing the right leg as the body allows or just tapping that right foot. And allow yourself now to begin to still and settle the right leg and the right foot begin to still and settle that right leg and that right foot now. And as you're stilling that right leg and that right foot now, just allow more of your awareness to notice how that right foot and that right leg feels as it's more settled and as it's still versus when it was moving and active. Just notice all of the feelings and all of the sensations there. And again, we're not worrying about giving it any kind of a label. We're not worrying about giving it any kind of a value judgment. It's not good, it's not bad. We're just noticing the feelings and the sensations. Right now, the invitation is this. 
allow yourself to remember or picture just one thing that you did earlier today. Now, I don't need to know what it is. Nobody's going to ask you about it. This is just for you. Allow yourself now in your memory, in your mind, to just remember or to bring up or observe one thing that you did earlier today. Now, sometimes our brain can seem really active and really busy. That's okay. If your brain seems really active or really busy right now, perhaps you're thinking of a lot of things that happened earlier today. And that's okay. As best you can, just stay with one thing. As best you can right now, just stay with one thing. And allow yourself to observe that one thing that you did earlier today. Now begin to bring the awareness back into present time. Bring the awareness back into present time here and now. And now begin to allow yourself to think about or imagine or just remember one thing that you're scheduled to do later on this evening. Again, I don't need to know about it. Nobody's going to ask you what it is. This is just for you. So allow yourself now to picture or think about one thing that you're scheduled to do later on tonight. Imagine how it might look or sound or feel. And bring the awareness back into present time. Bring the awareness now back into present time here and now. And finally, let's just begin to bring a little bit more tension into the entirety of the body as best the body allows. And so in my body right now, I'm curling my toes, making little fists with the feet, engaging the calves and the thighs, even the glutes, bringing more tension into the lower body. It might feel like you're slightly floating off your chair or your seat cushion. That's okay. You can also continue to curl the fingers, balling them up into tight fists, flexing the biceps, bring tension to the core and the entire upper body. You might even furrow the brow or frown the face up and then just relax. Relaxing the feet, relaxing the calves and the thighs. You can even allow the belly to go loose. Relaxing fingers and hands. Shoulders relax and the shoulder blades even spiral back and down a little bit more. You can create some space between the teeth as you allow the jaw to relax. And even allow the forehead to relax. And so let's come all the way back into present time now. Blink, stretch, look around, fully alert, fully awake, fully refreshed, fully present here and now, here and now. And so as you continue to settle in now, if you feel the need as your body allows to roll out the shoulders or flick out the wrist or even roll the neck gently, you're certainly welcome to do that. We're just allowing ourselves to come all the way back into present time. We might still be off somewhere in a, in a past or we might still be wandering somewhere off in a imagined future. We can come on back now.